This is Chapter 5 Neuro, the third of three videos about antidepressants, and this video will also touch on different medications that can be used for smoking cessation. So here are the drugs we will be going over in this video. So the first is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, or an SSRI. The example we'll use today is paroxetine. The brand name is Paxil. Um, as you recall from previous videos, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors prevent the breakdown of serotonin to increase levels of serotonin in the brain to improve our mood. The second drug we will focus on today is um, a serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor, or an SNRI, and the example we'll use today is duloxetine or Cymbalta. Um, duloxetine, even though it has the oxetine stem, like paroxetine and fluoxetine, just remember that this is an SNRI and not an SSRI. So as an SNRI, it will um, inhibit the breakdown of serotonin and norepinephrine in the brain. The next drug is an atypical antidepressant, which is bupropion or Welbutrin or Zyban. It doesn't fit in with any of the other um, drug classes like SSRIs, SNRIs, TCAs, or MAOIs. This medication, bupropion, does not really have a real serotonergic effect. Most of its effect is on increasing the amounts of dopamine and norepinephrine in the brain. They found when they were giving bupropion to patients who were smokers, they actually quit smoking. So the Zyban is the brand name uh, that is usually typically seen with smoking, um, and it was named that. So you can remember that it, you will be banning smoking. The last medication is a smoking cessation aid, Varenicline uh, or Chantix, and Varenicline works by stimulating nicotine receptors in the brain to block the pleasant effect of nicotine. So now we'll go into some questions. So question number one, we'll look at the drug classes. So the question is an antidepressant that is an SSRI is A, paroxetine, B, duloxetine, C, bupropion, or D, varenicline. So the answer is A, paroxetine. Paroxetine is an SSRI, just focused on working on serotonin. B is incorrect, it is duloxetine. It does have the same stem as a couple other SSRIs, but it is an SNRI, so it has an effect on both serotonin and norepinephrine. C is incorrect because bupropion is an atypical antidepressant, mostly works with dopamine and norepinephrine. And D, varenicline is incorrect because it is used for smoking cessation and it works on nicotine receptors. So now we'll go into a couple more questions and we will change the question to make the answer correct. So question three, we're making B correct. An antidepressant that works on serotonin and norepinephrine is B, duloxetine. You can recall that duloxetine is an SNRI, so it works on serotonin and norepinephrine. A is incorrect, paroxetine is an SSRI, which is selective for serotonin. C, bupropion is incorrect, that is an atypical antidepressant, which is works on dopamine and norepinephrine. And D, varenicline is a nicotine receptor agonist, and it is also not an antidepressant. So question four, we're making B correct. An antidepressant that can also be used for smoking cessation is C, bupropion. Bupropion is, as you can recall, an antidepressant and a smoking cessation aid. A and B are incorrect because paroxetine and duloxetine are only indicated for depression as antidepressants, and D, varenicline, is incorrect because it is only used in smoking cessation. Question 5, make D correct. A smoking cessation aid that causes bad dreams and suicidal thoughts is D, varenicline. Um, these are some side effects that have been noted um, when patients are taking this medication. So A and B are incorrect because they are not for smoking cessation. And C is incorrect because even though bupropion can be used for smoking cessation, um, it does not cause the bad dreams or suicidal thoughts. Um, bupropion, the side effect we think of to be concerned with with that one is seizures. <laughs> 